Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in various parts of the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he orders for salah also it's generally connected with the command also for zakah Allah says uqim wa salah wa atu zakah Allah says indeed give the uh, and he established a prayer and thereafter give the poor due. So there's two parts to our worship. There's two parts to our worship. Our worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala consists of bodily worship, of which we have look at one of the most important aspects of that, which is salah. And it also consists of what? Of uh, financial worship. Worship with the wealth that God has given us and that is represented in this compulsory form by the zakah Now in the same way we have optional prayers, sunnah prayers and other prayers within our prayer Salah In the same way for zakah you have also optional financial worship The zakah is a compulsory like the five prayers and then you have um, a sadaqah uh, and so forth which is actually optional uh, charity. But the Prophet والسلام, when he mentioned ala but your wealth is a right upon it other than just zakah. So if a person restricts it to zakah, they have fulfilled the bare minimum of a pillar of Islam. Yes? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says uh, when he mentions about those those people who are close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and who those people who will be the people of piety, you not reach a station of piety unless you spend of that which you love. So spending of the minimum of what Allah God has given us is not the way to piety. Uh, Allah Himself mentions the way to piety is spend of that which you love. And the greatest of what you have. So when we enter now we look at zakah very quickly. Uh, we are inshallah ta'ala going to um, go through this aspect of it also uh, very quickly with uh, without too much detail inshallah ta'ala okay so zakah pulled you the wealth which Allah has bestowed us with and by which we can purify our wealth hence the word zakah no, should from what? Uh, no, from zakah yuzaki. No, purifying. No, or zakah to purify, to cleanse. But what do we do by giving the zakah? We cleanse our wealth of bad. No, the Rasul alayhi salatu was salam informed us. No, when he was asked about his comp companions. No, uh, and he. Is that is there such a thing as as a non-beneficial wealth? And the Prophet Sallallahu said yes, plain affirmative. How does a person protect himself from a beneficial wealth? He protects himself by giving the poor poor due, in which it, what will be retained from is the barakah, and what will leave from that wealth is the evil within it and the harm that can come to a person through the wealth which they uh, which they have. So when it comes to zakah, we start to understand and, 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 and realize that through zakah, inshallah ta'ala, we can get closer to Allah uh, most high.